people just don't get it. They really just don't get the song. I'm surprised when people hear my song Friday and think it's just some breezy pop song. The writers, Clarence J and Patrice Wilson, really layered the song with a lot of hidden meaning, and I really don't think that people pick up on it the first time they hear it. What drew me to the song is that it comes from a really, a really deep and a really painful place. Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. That line, that line is about consumerism. I gotta have my bowl, I gotta have my cereal. We can't live without these things in modern society. And for some people, it's a mortgage, and others, it's a bowl of cereal. Chicken in the front seat, sitting in the back seat. Gotta make my mind up. Well, the choice between the front seat and the back seat is actually a metaphor for American foreign policy. Front seat, Afghanistan, backseat Iraq. We gotta make our mind up. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Looking forward to the weekend is really about the broken promises to a generation in the current economic climate. Weekend is a metaphor for financial stability. And no one is sure of that stability. D do I have to spell it out for you? What a lot of people don't realize about Friday is that a lot of the lyrics were written in quotation marks, so it's not really meant to sound like partying, partying, yeah. It's more like partying, partying, yeah. I like to challenge my audience. I'm really influenced by Tori Amos, Leonard Cohen, and a lot of beat poets. The other thing people don't realize about Friday is that it pulls from a relationship of mine. The entire song is about Dave Coulier. I've never met Dave Coulier, but I watch Full House a lot, and I just, oh, I never liked his character, Uncle Joey. 